Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Got a package in the mail from Through Night. What do we have here? Through Night T1 Magnetic. Interesting. Let's see what we've got here. Mess around, use this as a table. T1 Cool White, brand new product. This is a little, little guy. Interesting. Wow, look at how tiny that one is. Am I getting it on the video good? That is a tiny one. That would be one good for Melanie to carry around all the time. Here's her sheets. Let's see what we got here. We got a charging cable. We got a shirt or belt clip. And we got our typical accessory kit with the uh, lanyard and um, spare gaskets. Yep. Is there a USB charging port? There's going to be a USB charging port uh, cover in there. Replacement switch is always in the kit. Through Night's very good about giving you all the accessories you could ever need. To keep your light going for years to come let's open this little guy up see what we got inside there's a little through night uh, one 18 it's an 18 350 1100 milliamp hour battery pretty high. I see some 18 650s that had less than that. That's pretty high capacity for that little light Make sure I get the contacts right and we should get power If the battery's charged And that is a tight spring inside there. You're always guaranteed This is gonna work. I remember back in the days when I was younger the cheaper lights the uh, spring would loosen up with with time with the D cell batteries, and uh, you couldn't get contact anymore. You'd have to bounce it around or play with the spring. That's not going to happen with through night. Well, oh, it works. Oh, it's a adjustable. I'm just playing around with the buttons without even looking at papers. It's uh, infinitely adjustable by holding the button. So it goes up and down, and on and off. I know it's a little bit dim in direct sunlight out here. Uh, I'll show you that later on. I'll take you in the house. You know what? I'm going to take you inside anyway. I got a very bad camera angle. I can see that the, the, the light is thrown off the camera. I'll take you inside and we'll go over the specs of this. Nice, convenient little light. I believe Melanie's going to be working with this one a lot. This tiny little light has, can throw a beam up to a hundred meters which is like a hundred yards Tomcat is determined to be part of the video and for this this tiny tiny little light that is impressive and you'll see that outdoors uh, coming up soon here anyway this thing has a turbo mode the turbo mode is 1500 lumens the uh, one of my favorites is the firefly mode which is 0 0.5 lumens great for map reading and survival mode which I'll cover also um, later on there's a strobe mode for blinding people which is 550 lumens and then it ranges when you turn it on you can hold the button and it'll vary all the way down it'll blink to let you know it hit the lowest setting and then hold the button all the way up and it'll blink to let you know it's on its highest setting which is ranging from the uh, lowest is 15 lumens to its highest of 685 lumens so I, this is a pretty cool feature and it'll always turn on oops there's your firefly long press you got your firefly mode but it'll always turn on the last setting you had it so let's dim it down oops that's bright dim it on down to the lowest 
turn it off, it'll always come back in the last setting you had it, which is great. So let's take this out for a field test and see you in a little bit. I'm outside, I have here the Through Night T1 little little flashlight and we're gonna see what this little tiny thing can do in the night you can see nothing there's my hand there's a the porch light is on so you can see my hand from the porch light but you can't see anything out here and let me turn on a little thing tiny little flashlight there is light we can see now this little guy is different from most of you through night flashlights in that when you want to change the brightness instead of um, clicking through brightness this one you actually hold and long press the button to go all the way high let go and long press the button to go all the way down to 15 lumens it blinks twice to let you know it has hit the lowest end long click and hold it goes all the way up to the brightest and then blinks to let you know it's at uh, 685 lumens and shut it off and turn it back on typical through night flashlight has a memory function so you can dim it right on down to where you want it shut it off turn it on and it's going to be right where you left it last time which I love very much because then I'm running around and I say it all the time there's my truck when I'm running around here in the dark I don't want to be messing around trying to find um, the right buttons or settings on a flashlight and you can see over there quite well you can see my truck lights you can see reflection on something over there and you can see my sheds there's Melanie's store well, and let's double click this and get the turbo 1500 lumens let's see what happens well that lights up the night now you can see things there's Melanie's store and this is um Oh, three, four hundred feet away. So that's pretty decent right there. Really, really good. Can you see the trees out behind a little bit? I can see that tree really well with my eyes. All right. And triple click for strobe. All right, which is sort of cool. I was probably playing tricks with the camera. And then back on to whatever you had it last in, whatever setting you last had it in. Now, something else I love about through night, when it's off, hold the button for a second, and you get Firefly. Very, 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 very dim. But, if you get up to close to something, you can see by it. That is 0 0.5 lumens. And I love the through night Firefly mode for survival map reading book reading in the dark uh, camping this is an awesome light for camping if you, there's something scary out there in the dark and you want to keep your light on all night or if people are coming going from the tent and you just don't want people tripping over each other and waking each other up you leave this on it can last for days and days and days on a charge on the firefly mode and it's enough to see by it'll light up your tent well and uh, your campsite when you're if you're walking around so you can you can see the ground if you're in stealth or survival mode you can see to walk by it's brighter than what it looks like through the camera to my eyes I can definitely get around with that I can absolutely get around so I like the firefly mode now I'm gonna um, flip it off and then back on again into a more bright mode the last mode I used it in and you can see the difference so pretty impressive for a tiny little light I mean that lights up I can see the trees back there for this tiny tiny little light that is really good I can see my no trespassing sign way back on the other side of the property I don't know if you can see it back there behind the garden and uh, I can see the chairs over here I can see Melanie's garden it's pretty good actually for a very convenient everyday carry or every night carry um, fits in your pocket fits in your purse this is really convenient and it'll do the job it lights up the night don't need anything else than that it's conveniently magnetic for working on a metal shed wall in the dark that's pretty cool that is really convenient 
for, uh, well, I can see you using it on the road for car repair as well. I have here the Through Night T1 I have been field testing for a while now, and I want to give you my final impressions and results of the test. Um, there's all your little circuits. This does have thermal protection, uh, low power cutoff. If the battery starts to drain, it will shut off. It has something I love about through night flashlights. There is a color on the power button which will tell you the status of charge. That will vary between red, purple, and blue to tell you the status of charge, which is great. Once it turns red, you know you're getting low. And then you can probably, usually you can dim it down to a lower setting and uh, carry on for quite a while longer, in my experience. So I love that. You always know your status of charge of your flashlight, which is a really important thing for field use. You don't want to grab a flashlight and have it die on you in the field. So that's good to know. The fact that it's USB rechargeable, again, you never have to take it apart, never have to open it up unless you're changing the battery, which would be years. And uh, with this, you can conveniently charge it anywhere. And we're always charging ours on solar power. That's why I haven't opened this particular um, cable. I use one on my solar panels. I have a portable folding solar panel and I just pop it on there all the time and keep my devices charged for free on the go, which is great. But good for people, you can charge it in your car, which I also have charging cables in my car, and in a camper, in the field, I mean anywhere you go, um, in the house, USB chargers are everywhere and that's great. So I really love that feature. There's an accessory bag. I don't ever use lanyards myself, but for those who do, there's a really nice lanyard. Nice neat through night label on it. You can hook up. There's a lanyard hole right there you can feed through. And you can tie it to whatever you want. Tie it to your gear, your bag, your purse, whatever. And carry that around conveniently. And as is typical with through night there's two spare washers this is water resistant to usually about uh, two meters let me see yeah two meters and has a new uh, charging port cover in case that ever wears out so that gives you a greatly extended lifespan on your light and there's tomcat saying hi let me pause well there you have it guys, the Through Night T1. Convenient little pocket sized flashlight. Great to toss in your purse, in your pocket, on your shirt, and take it anywhere you need it. It is powerful and uh, really convenient. It's impressive for its size. Well thanks for watching guys. Check the description and comments below for the link to where you can get one for yourself. and. Uh, Keep watching for our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Hit that bell icon to get notifications of future uploads. And get yours today. Talk to you later.